Welcome, here's his hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. What I'm going to show you today is how to configure a PlayStation 3 controller um, within RetroArch. It's very easy. Um, I'm going to guide you step by step. So here we go. Open up your RetroArch, and this is the main menu. So using your keyboard on the first um, on the first uh, launch of RetroArch, you're going to press over to the gears, and we're going to go down until we get to input. We're going to press enter. Now we're going to come on down until we get to input user one binds. We're going to press enter. And then we're going to come down until we get to user one B button. So the layout is that RetroArch uses is the layout of the um, Super Nintendo controller. So your B button will be your X button on your PS3 controller. So we're going to press enter and we're going to press X. We're going to go down to the Y button. This is going to be your square button. So we're going to press enter and we're going to press square. Your select button is your select button. So go ahead and press enter, press select. Your start button is your start button. Press enter, press start. D-pad up. So press enter up on your D-pad. Um, D-pad down. You're going to press enter. Press down on your D-pad, and then enter left on your D-pad, enter right on your D-pad. Now for the A button is actually your circle button on your PS3 controller, so you can press enter and press circle. And then for your X button, you're going to press enter and press triangle. Triangle will be your X button. Um, L button is L1, so press enter, press L1. R button is R1. So we're going to go ahead and press enter, press R1, and then you can see here this will be your L2. So enter L2, R2, enter is R2, and then L3. So L3 is your thumbstick used like a button, so you're just going to click it in like that, just like a button. So press enter, click it in like a button. R3, we're going to press enter, and we're going to do our right analog stick like a button. And then you have the directions of your analog sticks. So your left analog stick, um, you're going to press it to the right. So press enter and then press it to the right. And we're going to do the same for left, the same for down, the same for up. And then we're going to do that all over again using our right analog stick. So press enter, press right on your um, analog stick. Press left on your right analog stick. Press down and press up. So once you have those configured, we can now navigate using our controller. Um, we don't have to use RetroArch anymore. So if you want to select something in RetroArch, you're going to use your X button. And if you want to back up a page, you're going to use your circle button. So we'll use our D-pad and we're going to go all the way up until we get to user one save auto config. And we're going to press X. Now that saved them. So now we're going to back up. So we're going to press circle. And we're going to press circle. And then we're going to go over to your first option menu. We're going to come on down to configurations. We're going to press X. And then we're going to go to save current configuration. And we're going to press X. Now what you want to do is press circle to back up. Go down to quit retro arc. And press X. And there you go, guys. That's everything. I uh, appreciate you watching. Please like the channel, subscribe, um, and have a good day.